Yo, welcome back to the channel. So, we're just leaving Dar es Salaam. Gonna go back to the Airbnb job, see how it's going. See how it's looking. Got the lads working on the staircase still, doing the um, handrail now. So, we're making progress. That's the main thing. Nice sunny day. Hopefully the rains have finally stopped. It rained quite hard about two nights ago. Three nights ago maybe. But um, since then, it's been all right. It's been laughing, it's been nice and dry. But the rains have been going on for months and months now, like since uh, December. December, January, February, March. I think they lied about the season as well. They said the season is like from March till December. Ah, there's not many tourists here in the like the 16th of March. So I'm thinking the season's more like April till December. But we shall see. I mean, this obviously this is my first time being in Nosy Bay, first year. So I don't know what the real truth is, but. I wouldn't say the season starts on the 1st of March, I'd say the season more likely starts on the 1st of April and runs till about the middle of December maybe, something like that, but we'll see. Hopefully there's going to be lots of tourists back this year and we'll be able to get some business going, get some money coming in and do alright for ourselves. Everybody, not just me, like all the Madagas that live on the island and that. Mainly the Madagas that live on the island. I'm doing all right. I've, my business is set up to run, rain or shine. Mainly just renting properties out in the UK. And here, a couple of property developments that I'm doing. Renting some bungalows and bits and bobs out flipping land, land banking, that's pretty much what I do. And then the profits, basically all my profits that I get from anything, after me living costs, I put in, I invest, reinvest into um, the stock market. I'm just building dividend stocks at the moment, buying a few growth stocks. This year I'm, at the moment I'm buying Amazon, as much as I can while it's down in price, I'm happy. If it goes down lower, I'll be even more happy. I'll buy even more. Perfect time to be buying Amazon stock, in my opinion. Um, I'm also buying into me regulars, me um, Berkshire Hathaway, Warren Buffett. Can't beat a bit of Warren Buffett stock. Um, Bill Ackman, Persian Square Holdings. Perfect for a British portfolio because it's... Um, based just off Britain under British tax law. Um, Scottish Mortgage Trust, buying into them. I'm a bit down on Scottish Mortgage Trust at the moment. About 12% or 15% something like that, down. That's not a problem though. So I'm not selling them, I'm buying. So it's, it's all right. And then I'm, I'm, I'm building up on dividend stocks as well. I want my portfolio to be, I think the ideal portfolio, and you'll find that a lot of um, big investors and that go with this technique of having one third dividends, one third value, one third growth in the portfolio. So I'm building my dividends up. Um, good year to be building them up. They're paying some good yields at the moment. I mean, obviously the yields might not stay the same, but some of the yields I'm getting are like five, six, 9% on certain stocks, even more maybe. Um, I've got about six dividends that I'm building up on. Mainly um, Rio Tinto, one of my favourites. But I've got other ones which are um, good. Vodafone pays a nice dividend yield, not a bad company. 
there's a few others that um, I'll go into on other videos that I've got. Well, there's about six dividend stocks. This guy is, I think he's, he's this is a scrap man, traditional scrap merchant with his horse and cart, but only this guy's got a cow and cart. Either that or he's transporting somebody's engine in a thousand pieces. I don't know which one. So on the left here we've got, we just drove out of Dar Salama and Bataloga and on the left you've got Passendava. Just lots of people live in Passendava like. Many, many people live there and they work in this in this area mostly. I mean obviously some of them will work in Hellville. But most of them are working in a Bataloka, Dar Salama area. And just after Passendava, you've got Manga Bay. And then if you keep on going up this road, you've got Andinama Plaza. I can't pronounce it properly, I don't think. But it's a very nice beach resort, nice hotels, nice restaurants and bars. You pay the price, but it's a nice, nice beach, nice area, tranquil, very nice. Putting all the trees back here on the left and cut them all back. Ready to make the fix the road, the building, cutting out for canals as well at the moment on either side of the road to help the water go down. The land on the right, right here is the land that I own, where we cows live. Just here. And on the left here, you've got the Palm Hotel. Lovely hotel, that. If you're going to come to Madagascar to Noji B, that Palm Beach Hotel, or the Royal Beach Hotel, very nice. And I do believe that the Royal Beach is building a brand new um, four-star, five-star hotel in Andinama Plaza, like, so. There you go. What do we need for, from here? The planks. We, I've nearly forgot the planks. We we'll have to go and get some, buy some planks for you. We'll just back in here to the Kincari, where we can buy the planks. Right. So there you go. I'll leave that video here. We're back in Manga Bay. Thanks for watching. Give us a like. Give us a sub. See you in the next one.